Oh yeah. Rocking the rock star. It's Monday morning. We're at the thrift stores. And uh, it's been a couple weeks, man. So uh, let's get in there and let's check it out. See if we can find something. What is going on people inside the internet machine welcome to episode 58 and uh yeah we had a pretty good day out there today so let's just get right into it first thing wife picked me up a copy of star wars the force awakens i have not seen this yet um can't wait to watch it probably gonna do that right after the video because i'm a huge star wars fan but I'm obviously not that big of a Star Wars fan to actually go see it in the theater. Actually, I wanted to see it in the theater, but movies are just so expensive nowadays. So, anyway, first thrift store that we go to, 9 a.m., uh, you know, they don't have 75 cent games anymore. They're all $1.25 if they're that particular color tag. I'm looking through the window from the outside in, and I saw a game that slipped off the, uh, off the racks and was, like, back behind everything. So, it was half off because it was blue tag. So, for $4, picked up Professor Layton and the Curious Village for the DS. That is still factory sealed, boys and girls. So, um, that'll probably get flipped. And I think that goes for about $15, $15, $18 uh, sealed. Couldn't help myself on this one. This was a total impulse buy. And uh, I'm not going to play it as far as you know. When in reality, I'm going to probably strip down to my boxer shorts and play a little Guitar Hero Metallica. Yeah! That was six bucks, but it was half off. So $3 Guitar Hero Metallica for the Nintendo Wii. Um, another game that uh, really holds its value. So if you ever see Guitar Hero Metallica out there for cheap, definitely recommend picking it up. So I'm kind of... Uh, nosing around in their their uh collector's cabinet thing and uh, i see a couple of these bad boys in there this was eight dollars <laughs> still factory seal it's crazy it's the shock and rock nyco comfort grip and adjustable vibration fun function amplified stereo speakers with a headphone jack so it's a little accessory for your uh your game boy color there slides on the bottom <laughs> kills me man Still factory sealed. Eight bucks. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I thought they were a little bit more valuable. I was kind of actually taking a chance because I, I wasn't really sure what these are worth. But, uh, yeah, it looks like they go for about 12 bucks. So, didn't really make out like a bandit on that one. So, after I saw that one, I saw this one. And uh, this was only $6. I don't know why there's a difference in price. But this is the Shock and Rock... 5-in-1 multi-function add-on for an enhanced gameplay for the Game Boy Advance. So uh, it's got some kind of grip that goes on the bottom there. Looks like there's some speakers. So all that intense gameplay, you know, you're not going to hurt yourself. And you can listen in to it in stereo, which is crazy. So I don't know. All right. So we hit up uh, another thrift store. Haven't It's the same place I found that uh, Flight Sim Yoke and everything. Saw this on there. This is still like a, about a $20 game or so. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 for the Xbox 360. Got that for $2.99. Complete with the manual. So happy to see that. Um, then I stopped at a Goodwill. I actually came back to my side of town. And I had to go to the grocery store. There's a Goodwill right by the grocery store. So decided to stop. Picked up a stack of games. The first one was... Uh, these are $1.99. I actually got this for free. 
This is a 007, everything or nothing, no disc. Uh, so they just gave it to me for free. I've already ordered the disc uh, off of eBay. So when it gets here, it gets here. It was like, it was under $5. So definitely excited to add that to the collection. The other two games, uh, again, these were $1.99. We got Tony Hawk Underground. Complete. And of course, Tony Hawk Underground 2. And I dropped that on my foot and it really, really hurts right now. That one's complete. Um, I'm not sure if I have these or not off the check. But uh, if I don't, then they're up for trade. Actually surprised to see this game there. Again, $1.99. I don't know. What, this Goodwill is weird. Like, they were $1.99. Then they were $2.99. Then they were $3.99. Then anything that had, they, you know, you had to pay the Mario tax. So anything that was Mario or Zelda was like $5.99. So now they're back to everything is $1.99. And good for me because we found a copy of Yoshi's Woolly World for the Wii U. It feels weird saying I found a Wii U game at Thrift. It's got the uh, the disc in there. I don't think this actually came with a manual. But uh, it's got a precautions thing in there. So definitely flip that. And we'll get paid, son. Alright. So <laughs> you guys saw in the footage there. I shot less footage today even though I went more places. Because I want to keep my videos short. And I realize I'm coming up with like two and three and four minutes of... Uh, game hunting footage so i'm just trying it it's like a probationary basis right now but so you guys saw in the in the, uh, in the video I, I just happened to walk down the electronics aisle where they keep the electronics and the toys saw two of these guys right here these little mario plushies and they were two dollars and 99 cents each so i was like oh i'll grab those no big deal i'll give one away and underneath it was a copy of donkey kong 64 now i don't like to pay 8.99 for uh, N64 games, but that should Donkey Kong 64 should be an easy flip. And uh, as I was perusing around, I actually found another Mario plushie for $2.99 in the box. So I just asked her, I said, hey, uh, since I'm buying all three of these, can I have the box for that? And she was like, yeah, sure, go ahead and take it. So got three of these Mario plushies. They were, like I said, $2.99. Don't know if that's going to come through. There it is, $2.99. Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, okay. So, going through their their game section where they keep all their disc-based games. Everything was all, like, ripped to shreds. Or, like, there was Castlevania for uh, Xbox, but somebody had stolen the disc and there was no manual. Or else I would have asked to, if I could have it. Um, but I did hit up their PC games and uh, found this for $4.99. It says Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. For a century of flight this comes with uh four discs they're all in there the manual so we'll definitely flip that although it's not that expensive it's not like the uh the microsoft flight simulator gold that still is like a 10 or 15 dollar item so i'll flip that and uh man the coolest coolest pickup of the day i think went to buybacks and uh saw this in their their game collector's cabinet thing was nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, which is a hell of a deal. Batman for the NES. Now there were a couple of these that sold for between fifteen and twenty dollars, but uh, it looks like you know there's a lot of them that are selling between thirty and like forty five dollars. And guys, this is one of the mintiest boxes I think I've seen in a long, long time for uh, an NES game. Everything is in there: the manual, the styrofoam, the inserts, everything. So hopefully we can get that sticker off. Uh, without any problem, be very careful getting that off, and we're going to add that to our collection. The cool thing is, I already have this for uh, the NES, so what I'll do is I'll just sell mine. So I'm basically, you know, getting an upgrade for cheap. Um, that's going to do it so far, man. We, we're off to a pretty good start, and uh, we may quit while we're ahead here, hit our new subscribers, and get out of town. But uh, I'll have to check Craigslist and see what's going on for garage sales this weekend. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I made a command decision. We are going to keep it light this week. Uh, we'll hit our new subscribers. Get out of here. Um, hopefully, we can keep the video under 20 minutes. Yay. All right, here we go. Thank you, guys, to all the uh, new subscribers. There's uh, plenty of them here. So let's just get right into it. Uh, CV, hashtag the best. Robert Marks, Cedric Paquin, that guy in the store. 
Deheron uh, Severino, Marcin, Sergio Loyola, Jason Braslovich, King Sonic 2, 60 Mega Mushroom, Nintendo Power Reader, Eric Lindquist, The Bradster, uh, Ernie Kraken, Mr. Larkin, and Ann Tony. Guys, thank you much. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy the content. The next set of subscribers, they have uh, videos on their YouTube channel that they created and all that stuff. Links will be in the description down below, so be sure to check out at least two. Uh, first one is Mike the Gamer. Has uh, one video up. It's a Lego stop motion movie thing, so I don't know if he's going to do more of those. Wild Ghost 68, uh, Town of Salem, and League of Legends gameplay. Those are two games that I'm not familiar with. Uh, Tehache123, um, gameplay of like Skate 3, has a PlayStation 2 collection video. Uh, Jackson Ferreria, hope I said that right, dude, uh, plays guitar. So all you music lovers, check out that channel. Ricky the Gamer has uh, like random life videos, things like that. He does have a smashing a PlayStation 3 controller, so if you're into breaking shit, check that out. Uh, Koi Big. Uh, big fan of the Irish national team, the soccer team. The uh, If you don't live in America, it's football. So he's a big fan of the uh, Irish Irish national team. Uh, lots of like uh, videos of like fandom and like other countries and whatever. So definitely check that out. I love international soccer, by the way. Uh, Rent 10 millimeter. Uh, he's got some racing videos on there, like drift racing or car racing or whatever. Uh, less than equal. Has a gameplay of like GTA, Fallout, Modern Warfare, Team Fortress 2. Just a bunch of stuff going on there. Um, Dana Ramson does like random life videos. Ishmael Pava Neto. Hope I said that right, dude. Uh, plenty of videos of like Rainbow Six. So if you're a Rainbow Six fan, Tom Clancy fan, check that out. And last but not least is uh, Blaze Overclock 54. Does pickups. Um, has some gameplay of, uh, you know, like Punch Out. And Meta Knight and Smash Bros and all that stuff. So, guys, be sure to check out some of those channels. And uh, guess we'll see you next time.